in the video that I posted on July the 3rd, where I showcased a machine that's running an Intel Pentium processor, and the official specs is that it's a 1.1 gigahertz processor with four gigabytes of RAM, and I upgraded the solid state, I upgraded the hard drive to a solid state drive, um, and I was showcasing Visual Studio on this machine, and we were able to see that the low-end computer is not all it appears when it comes to performance. There are ways to tune the Microsoft Windows 11 environment to achieve better performance with these machines and with these tools that we use on these machines. And so what I'm going to describe here are some quick and simple optimizations that you can apply to any Windows 11 environment to uplift the speed and uplift the performance. The background to all of that is described in that July 3rd video titled Intel, Pentium, and Visual Studio. This particular take allows us to take a closer look at what those optimizations are, and I'm gonna demonstrate those. And once you see this and apply it to your machines, you will also reap uh, similar benefits. The starting point in optimizing Windows is to clear away what is called temporary files and extraneous files that are generated when programs are being installed or updates are being applied. The tool that we're going to use for this is Disk Cleanup. Disk Cleanup has been around uh, for many, many years. And when you open Disk Cleanup, it's the initial screen that you see is set for cleaning up uh, files for the, the person who's currently logged in. You'll see a button way down there is called Clean Up System Files. We'll click that button in a minute, but for now, um, after you've chosen the files that you want to clean up, you just click OK, and that will clean up the extraneous files for the person that's currently logged into Windows. And then to clean up those system files, you open Disk Cleanup again. And then this time, um, you're going to um, check or uh, click the Clean Up System Files button, and that's actually going to activate Disk Cleanup a third time. Okay, and so that's just the way they, it's structured, right? And so Disk Cleanup scans the system. And then based on what it's found during its scan, it's going to present you with options that you can clean up in the system. And so you'll notice that clean up system files button is gone because we are in the uh, system file cleanup uh, context. And then there's a tab there, um, more options and basically that allows you to clean up system restore points extra system restore points that you've may have accumulated then you click OK and that's going to clear away the system temporary files that have been accumulated through Windows Update or the installation of programs and that sort of thing next we want to optimize the power usage when you're on a laptop, there's these power profiles that can determine how much Windows tries to use uh, from the electrical system, right? So when you draw too much power, you actually um, uh, run down your battery. But uh, we chose a high performance setting. And then we moved on to the advanced system settings. And here we want to eliminate the eye candy. And the quickest way to do that is choose the option to adjust for best performance and then toggle back in those options that we find useful in terms of our productivity or aesthetic preference. So 
going to enable those options that have um, very little impact on uh, performance in the responsiveness of programs when we launch and op open them. Here, um, we're going to make a decision on uh, performance for foreground programs or background services. I usually go the background services route because my uh, point of view is that you want the subsystem to remain at a high performance state. I'm also going to set my page file um, in accordance with the amount of RAM that I have and I'm going to set it to a static value and that's going to give me another performance boost. And then after all of these changes are made it's a good time to restart the computer, right? So we got all, all of our initial optimizations. And then when we come back, we're going to um, optimize Windows using a very popular uh, tweak, tweaking tool, right? And this tool is called um, Windows Tweaker. And we're going to do a Google search for it so that we can find it. So I open up Firefox and I'm going to search for Windows 11 Tweak. And when I do this I'm going to get several listings because there's all kinds of um, articles and documents written out there on how to tweak Microsoft Windows for optimal performance. Ultimate Windows Tweaker is a tool that I've used for many years and you do have to be careful when trying to download it because there's all kinds of buttons on the web page. So I found a button that says download Ultimate Windows Tweaker and it's downloaded as a zip file so you have to um, extract the contents of the zip file. Fortunately, Windows now has the ability to um, do this. Uh, many, many years ago, you had to install a program like WinZip. But um, now that capability is built into Windows. And so we go into the folder um, labeled Ultimate Windows Tweaker. And we run the program, which is not the one I just highlighted, but the one just above it. And so we open that and we're presented with a screen that's going to have uh, several options for us. But first there's a dialogue and we just say OK. It's just giving you a warning about things. And we're going to run the Windows System Assessment. And what's useful about the Windows System Assessment is it gives Windows a good indication, a good hint as to what it should and should not try to do in terms of um, performance. So you'll see that our processor is rated an 8.3 out of 9.9, .9, which is a very high number. Hard drive is rated at 8.15. That's that solid state drive I put in. And the RAM is um, categorized as right in the middle. And so they're doing pretty good. Um, I clicked on the additional uh, tweak settings uh, area and there are a few options that I'm going to toggle here. Um, the network tweaks that I'm toggling here, they not only help things from a security standpoint, but they also uh, help from a performance standpoint when we're talking about internet connectivity. Because by uh, toggling some of these options and I don't recommend that you do this unless you know what you're doing, but um, when you toggle some of these options, they cause Windows to skip mm -hmm. over certain uh, networking checks that can slow it down in some, in some cases. I'm also going to turn off the search indexer. I personally do not use the search tools in Windows when I'm looking for files. So if you're using the search tools in Windows, um, this is not an option for you, but if you're uh, one who uh, are able to search files uh, through other means or you um, 
you know, look for your files manually, then you may not need that option. So I'm going to restart the computer, and um, that's going to allow these settings to um, get set in stone. And then um, I'm going to customize my start menu, and this is not necessarily a performance optimization uh, from a computer standpoint, but it's more of a uh, performance optimization from a productivity standpoint. What I mean by that is that the icons that I frequently use and that I will typically use, um, they're going to be uh, front and center with no distractions in terms of um, a sea of icons, many of which I uh, have no use for um, on a regular basis. And so one of the uh, you know, tools that I use in some of the work that I do is the command prompt. And so I'm going to pin it to the start menu. Um, that way, when I click on the start menu, it's readily available and I don't have to click several menus down in order to access it. Um, I'm also going to um, pin some of these other uh, tools that are located here. And now it's time to view the the result we have so far. So th this is the customizations um, that I've done so far to the start menu. And this basically op op uh, optimizes my click flow to access certain things. So with that, um, I thank you for tuning in. I hope this was of great insight to you and I wish you a great and fabulous week.